Absolutely. So uh, at eight o'clock doors open at the polling places. Uh, if you live in Minneapolis, you can vote here at the early voting center. This is just off of Hennepin Avenue near 35W. Um, if you don't live in Minneapolis, but you live in Hennepin County, you can go downtown to the government center and you can vote in person there. But let's talk about those mail in ballots. That's kind of a bigger story here today. Minneapolis is mailing more than 114,000 ballots. Election officials are calling that phenomenal because it'll shatter all previous records when it comes to early absentee voting in the city. Now we asked the Minneapolis elections director, can the post office handle all of these ballots? Here's what she said. We've got a very good relationship with our local post office and they work very closely with us to make sure that any ballots they receive, we get. Now a couple things to note, mail-in ballots postmarked on or before Election Day can arrive up to seven days after the election and still be counted. Also, curbside drop-off will be available in Minneapolis, but those exact times and locations haven't been announced yet. Now at the end of October, on October 27th, there's going to be two more early voting spots opening up, one on the north side, one on the south side, and then these polling spots as we get closer to November 3rd, they're going to extend those hours. When it comes to the actual Election Day, though, you have to go to your designated polling spot. Guys, Ellery, thank you. With the different